now that you've, you've come out of the, the camp portion and, and into your, your regular weeks leading up to the season, how's that rotation kind of coming along? You know, I, I feel really good about it. we got a lot of depth. Uh, the guys worked really hard uh, this summer. This, uh, this fall, and so uh, we're really excited. I, I like where we are and where we're going. Uh, built a lot of depth over the, over the, uh, the fall camp, and so uh, we're, we're not there yet, but give us another week. Have you found that certain combinations kind of work better together, or is it one of those that you just need everybody kind of on the same You know, it's, it's actually great that you can throw different combinations because nobody can get comfortable, right? So I can put, you know, Trey at the boundary, Dion, you know, put Dion at the at, at the field. You know, you can put Dion at the nose and put Ox at the field. So, you know, all those guys being able, because you don't never know what happens during the season, so, and injuries happen. So all those guys got to know what all three guys are doing at all times. Has Dinkins, he's got a lot of length in there that kind of, I think, sets him apart from some yep. of those guys. Has he, has he shown that explosiveness? He has, and it's his time. You know, he's going into his third year. Uh, he's a long, athletic kid. Um, you know, he's blessed with that long limbs like you talked about. And so, uh, you know, he's working really hard, and, and uh, he's going to be a force for guys in the, in the middle. And so, you know, we want him to beat up on those centers and those guards and, and uh, let those linebackers run free. Quill, but it took him a while to kind of get healthy and everything. Have you, have you seen him? Uh, play catch yeah. up or is there I, still I'll be honest with you, I think Khalil is probably the X factor I think he's very special um, he's what the next level is looking for he's long athletic can run a uh, very athletic talented kid and so uh this is time. It's this time. You know, he showed flashes last year, did a lot of good work uh, for us, uh, and then he hurt his shoulder. But uh, he's back. He's 100%. And uh, we're really excited f about him uh, in the next couple weeks. So what does Trayvon have to do to take the next step as a pass rusher? Uh, you know, he just got to keep working. You got to be a student of the game. Um, he's, he, he's just one of those things where you just got to study and study your opponents uh, and then study himself and see what are the things. You know, my job is to give him the tools to put in his toolbox so that he can go out and be dominant. He has it. You know, he has the ability. Uh, he has the athleticism. And, and uh, you know, hopefully all of that that we work uh, during Indy will transfer over uh, during game time. It's, I don't know how many practices so far without a game. Um, how do you try to use different ways to, to pull it out of Dion to be the Dion Walker we know every day? Yeah, you know, it's just, I just got to be like a gnat. I got to be like that gnat that you can never really get get rid of. And so I'm just always pushing him to be elite. You know, I mean, it's really up to him. He can be the most dominant guy out there every practice, every game, but it's going to be him. There's got to be a mindset that he wants to go out there and just kick butt every day. And so I'm just pushing him to be the best version of him. Um, and, and, and that's it. And I'm not I'm not backing off. And uh, he has a really good opportunity to be uh, one of the great ones that ever come through here. What kind of camp has he had? Oh, he's had a dominant. He, he's been very dominant. He's been explosive. I mean, he's a smart kid. He's he's he's, he's big and he's talented, but he's smart. Uh, he's he's smart in the classroom. He's smart, you know, on the football field. He listens. He he asks questions, and those things are really gonna help him at the next level. When he's doing his thing to no. kind of command double teams and dominate. What does that do as far as opening up opportunities for the young guys? Well, of course, but the thing about it is, we have a few dominant. Uh, pass rushers and so if you double team Dion then what are you going to do with you talk about Trayvon Ricker what are you going to do with JJ you know so uh, what are you going to do with Keaton so we got we have some dominant guys and so uh, that's the thing they're going to have to pick their pores and at the same time Dion is talented enough to, to beat those double teams and, and so it's my job to continue to, to, to train them to teach them how to how to rush a, a double team and so uh, we're doing all those things to really help him and just thinking out of the box on you know wh what our offense is going to do to try to you know try to stop him and so uh, and that's coach white you know coach white sees a great de defensive coordinator always coming up with uh, with cool things to help guys get free and so uh, we're excited we're excited that uh, now we can stop beating up on each other and, and go beat up on someone else.